The purpose of the Lesson 1 study was to compare the safety and efficacy of the unrestricted use of Everolimus eluting stents with Sirolimus eluting stents in a large, consecutively enrolled patient population in a propensity score matched analysis. More than 3,000 patients undergoing PCI receiving one or the other stent were followed up for three years. The primary endpoint was a composite of death, MI and target vessel revascularization. The primary endpoint showed a trend towards improved outcome with the Everolumus soluting stent and this trend was mainly driven by a significant reduction in terms of myocardial infarction as well as target vessel revascularization. We also noted that there was a significant difference in terms of uh, overall definite stent thrombosis as well as definite or probable stent thrombosis in favor of the Everolumus soluting stent. Our study indicates that the clinical outcome with the newer generation Everolumus soluting stent may be improved as compared to the Sorolimus soluting stent. That certainly requires confirmation in randomized clinical trials. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure and a privilege to present the results of Atoll study. Atoll is a randomized study which compared IV and oxaparin at the dose of 0.5 milligrams per kilogram to the standard use of unfractionated heparin in 910 patients with STEMI treated by primary PCI. We found a reduction of uh, ischemic endpoints with intravenous use of, of uh, enoxaparin. These reductions were significant. There was no price to pay on the safety side. There was even a, a trend to less major bleedings, less minor bleedings with um, IV enoxaparin, and the net clinical benefit was in favor of enoxaparin. So altogether, it's, it's, it's good news because we have a pure head-to-head -head comparison between two anticoagulants, no mixing of drugs. The aim of the Euro Heart Survey ACS3 was to assess performance measures for reperfusion therapy in Europe and to look at temporal trends between 2006 and 2008. 20,000 patients were enrolled in the survey from which STEMI patients were selected. We found that um, we have excellent rates of uh, reperfusion rate among eligible. We have a de constant decrease in the use of uh, fibrinolytic with an increase with use of primary PCI. We have uh, an increasing rate of patient timely reperfused, either by fibrinolytic or by primary PCI. And in parallel, we found a significant trend for decrease in in-hospital mortality from 8.1 to 6.6%. And putting together, uh, those data show that in centers who participate to our survey ACS3, we have an increase in the quality of care in acute staining. 